Okay, we're back. I went ahead and get, went to um, clean up and make things deeper, as you see. The other thing I have to do uh, is the feet in the back. I started working on that, and I thought I'll wait till I get back online here. Uh, what you want to do is just cut across, cut down the middle, and then taper it on either side. Okay, that's what we're doing. All right, and then you want to round off your edge all the way around meaning taking your knife and just going over the edge and then over here you're going to put a stop cut in about an eighth of an inch from the corner towards the back of the shoe cut that out and bring this in all right and kind of blend that in all right and we're going to do the other side as well since you didn't get to see that done push it in carve up to it and there you go That's pretty well it for the shoes all right so all right now we I, well, I did this offline I scooped some of this more to give more of a curvature look to it that the coat's sticking out a little bit Now we're ready to put in the um, the border on the bottom of this jacket. Uh, where is my other thing here? We're going to go ahead about a quarter of an inch. Go up and just this is going to be the trim part of the coat on the back. If you don't have a V tool, you can do a stop cut, cut from the top down, and then round off your little edge. Now I'm going to make this a little deeper, of course. I always do. A little more of a crisper cut than just what the V tool does. That way I can kind of tuck this under a little bit. Actually, I need to cut this down a little bit first. So that brim of the jacket, or the trim of the jacket, looks like it's sticking out more, okay? Like you see there. And so just come up here and just start chopping little pieces out. Not difficult to do. Just have to be very careful. Take your time. And we're going to round off the edge here. Alright, now what I want to do next is just kind of scoop this out just a little bit around the corners, smooth it out a little bit and round it up a little bit. There we go. We're not going to put any folds in the coat, you know, or anything. Up here we're going to clean this up a little bit as well. Just a little bit. Alright. All right, looks good. All right, now after we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and dip it because we're going to start putting in the, I'm going to show you portions of it now, and then we're going to come back with a last video of what it should look like. I'm going to let that drip off. What I'm dipping it in is just a rubbing alcohol and water in a jar. Pretty simple. A lot easier than spraying it all the time. You can spray it if you're on the road or if you're going somewhere. You don't want to be carrying a jar with you. But I'm going to go ahead and sharpen up my tools for a little bit here. 
Um, we're going to use the big V tool that we've been using and a small V tool. Um, and those are the two we're going to use. But I want to make sure they're nice and sharp before we start doing the... We're going to go over this real quick. Um, so what we're going to do here, um, if you take a look here, let's see if we can get that up kind of close. Right there. All right, what we're going to do is you want to do it at an angle. You don't want to just do it um, straight up. You want to do it at an angle. That's how I've been doing it. So you're going to just sweep a few, put a little couple little stripes in here and keep it at an angle going all the way around. I do the outside first. I'm going to show you just a portion of this and then you can go ahead and do the whole section here. Always try to keep it at an angle. Now if your V tool is sharp enough you should be go able to go in any direction. Okay? Any direction. So I do the top portion first towards the hat, okay, that you see. And then over here we're going to go at an angle again. We're going to come up. And we're going to go right up. All right, right like so. So you got the whole thing done. All right, then I turn it around and we're going to go here. Now this is the hard part because see the grain is running up and down here. You want to be very, very careful. So I'm going to just try to go the opposite way a little bit, just a little bit. And it's hard not to chip anything out, but try to be very careful when you do this. So we're doing the outside right now. You kind of just look at what you did ahead of it and uh, on the top and try to go the same flow or the same direction, okay? A little bit at a time. And then what you do, I'm just going to show you this portion. And what you do is kind of just fill the center up. And kind of match them up a little bit. And that's how you get your your uh, little fur on there. Okay, so do your whole cap that way. We're going to come back with another video. I'll be right back.